Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to use uh, FFmpeg in order to record the desktop and the camera at the same time uh, on Windows. I was looking for a solution to, to make this. There are several tutorials to make uh, face cams and uh, many eventually tools available, but uh, I tried a couple of them and I always had some kind of problems or maybe there was some malware or uh, whatever. So I, I thought, okay, I will just use a FFM bag. Eventually it will take me a little bit more to figure out how to do it. But at the end, I will have something that I can really rely on and uh, have full control on it. So FFM bag, if you don't already know it, it's a, it's a set of tools that is completely open source and for free. It's, uh, and it's very powerful. It's not immediate to, to understand because you have to write the, your, um, your commands, but uh, after, uh, after a while it really, it really pays for it. So in the, for this tutorial, the first thing I prepared for you a little uh, text file with uh, all the steps and instructions. I will just uh, use this so you can see better. So first thing is, of course, uh, if you don't already have it, is get FFmpeg from, uh, from the website. As I said, it's open source, it's for free. You can eventually consider to make, uh, to make a donation. You, you can download it and install it. It's, if you have any problems, it's full of, uh, of tutorials on, uh, on how to do this. I will also open uh, another one. So this is a fun bag. Here we'll write our commands. First thing you want to you want to do is to is to state the output folder. So where you want to put your, your output to be saved. Okay. You use cd and the directory and you press enter. And this is done. Then, second thing that you want to do is to check what are the input devices that are available for uh, on your computer. This is the uh, this is the command. Also, here you can copy it from the text file and paste it on ffmpeg. So we're going to check, as I said, input devices for this show. This is the tools that is specific or windows that we will use to, to catch the, the input from the webcam and from the microphone. And once you have run the program, the, the command, you will get a list, which will change from depending on your computer, for example, here I have Lenovo Easy Camera, which is my webcam. And for the audio, I have here Microphone, RealTech, High Definition Audio. So this will be the two inputs that I will use. And for the desktop, we will see in a second how to, what, will, uh, what will be the tool. So you can eventually copy-paste it uh, somewhere and keep it apart. And once we have this, we move to the next step, which is actually recording the the video so we want to have the desktop on the is the main uh, is the main window on the background and then we want to have a small window with the with the webcam on one corner for example and with ffmpeg we can do this all at once on a single line of command this is the this is the command it may look uh, a little bit complicated but now we will go step by step so we will understand what's going on exactly. So, this, uh, before to proceed, I just want to say this is the minimum available uh, line that you, that you can write in order to record the desktop and the camera at the same time. In between, you can, uh, you can mix it, you can adjust it, you can put uh, other filters, other, uh, other commands. Uh, and uh, I don't, in order to do this, I advise you to check the documentation 
this is uh, I will explain this what is in a, in a second and this is for the function overlay this is for direct show this is gdi grab which we use to check the window so for specific option uh, for more fine tuning you can check this documentation and add uh, more uh, variables to your uh, to your line this is the minimum that you have to do so what we are going to do is to ask ffmpeg use gdi grab gdi grab is a tool that is specific for windows that uh, in order to record the screen so this is how we are going to record the screen so use gdi grab to record the desktop because eventually you can also tell him to record only a specific window but in this case we want the full desktop so gdi grab please take the desktop as the first uh, input uh, for uh, what will be will be what happen uh, afterwards then we'll go use this show it's a second tool and uh, we will use this to specify the webcam input and the audio input so fd show please use as a video input video input lenovo easy camera we saw it from um, from before and as audio please use microphone real tech high definition audio or whatever you have on uh, your computer then we are going to use a filter complex and all this stuff here it's called filter graph and here uh, as i said you have the documentation you can read it through to understand the syntax it's uh, it's quite useful to understand uh, the structure so please filter complex take the video input of the the video channel sorry the video channel of the first input which is input number zero the context starts from zero which is we said here desktop okay so this is input number zero and this is input number one so take please the video channel of the first input and scale it here you can define the scale in this case i want 1280 pixel by 720 of resolution and call the result of this operation call it desktop but you can give whatever name you want it doesn't matter this is just for labeling and close this filter chain so as i said this one is called a filter graph and the filter graph is composed of several filter chains and each filter chain is uh, separated by a semicolon so this will be our first filter chain of our filter graph and we define here the our first input and we which is the desktop then we move on and we say please take the video channel of the second input which is the input number one as we said which is Lenovo easy camera also here apply a scale we want uh, this window to be smaller of course because we want just to put it then in one corner and call this webcam so as I said these are called filter chains because you can change several filters in this case there is only scale but for example I, maybe I want to have my my webcam window my, my face cam I want to be black and white or other effects so in order to put another um, filter I use comma to separate, to separate filters within the same filter chain and for example if I want it black and white I can say hue use hue filters and give it a saturation of zero and then maybe I want it also a little bit darker so we'll use column to separate uh, 
different uh, parameters for the same filter and I will say give it a brightness of minus 2 the brightness goes here from uh, FFmpeg from minus 10 to 10 here I want minus 2 okay and as I said call the output of these operations call it webcam or as you prefer and finish this filter chain now at the end we will make an overlay overlay is a filter that takes two parameters the main one is the one that will be on the back and the overlay parameter is the one we will go on top so we have now labeled before these parameters one is called desktop and the other is called webcam webcam will go on top of desktop so apply overlay to, this uh, to these two inputs and here we have to specify the position of, of the overlay input on the main one so of the webcam on the desktop we can just write x equals and the position of the pixel x equal 200 and y equals uh, 500 and this will be the position of the top left pixel of the of the webcam of the overlaying uh, input on the desktop one okay so for example if i just uh, say x equal to zero y equals to zero my overlaying input the weapon will go on the very top left corner of the of the of the desktop of the main one uh, if you want to be a more, more precise we can use some additional uh, parameters that are available in the filter also here you can check just the, the documentation w refers to the width of the main input so in this case desktop and in this case 1280 pixels and y not capital is the width of the overlaying input so in this case 384 so just take the whole width of the main input subtract the width of the overlaying one and then I want, don't want it to have it completely on the on the border, but I want to have a little bit of margin. So I said subtract other 50 pixels from this. So it will move a little bit more here. And then we do the same thing for the for the height. So H capital is the height of the of the main input. H small is the height of the overlaying channel. And then also here I want a little bit of border, so you go down of other 50 pixels. You can just play and put it where you want. If you want it on the top left with some uh, 50 pixel border, you just say x equals 50, y equals 50. If you want on the top right, you mix the two things. You just decide where you want to, to have this. So this is the we have done everything with. Defined the first input, we have scaled it. We have designed the defined second input, we have scaled it, and also in this case, we have put uh, another filters to make it black and white. And we made the overlay so we can close our filter complex in the curly brackets with, with, that we open here. Last thing we have to do is to set the output. So you can just write the name of your output that you want that will be saved in the directory which uh, that we stated here and you can give the format that you want as well you so this is the minimum thing that you have to do if you want you can be more specific if your computer for example is not uh, powerful enough you might want to use a lossless output format and here you find the specifications which you can find more precisely here on uh, on direct show documentation for example or also on the
on here encoding guy guide and here it explain you for example what is this CRF and preset CRF is the overall quality let's say where zero is lossless and 52 is the 51 it's the worst quality available and 23 is the default preset defines the ratio between the quality of the compression and the quality of the image and uh, it can go from uh, ultra fast to very slow and of course very slow will it's slower so it will take more time so in this case if you use these parameters you will have a lossless output but just bear in mind that uh, the size will get huge in really in really no time you will get gigabytes of output after uh, after a few minutes on the other side here i put just an example of uh, a lower quality but also lower size of the of the output you can mix uh, a little bit if you want you can find it what is the the ratio between quality speed uh, that is best for you and for your computer so once we have defined all these things we just have to put everything on one single line otherwise ffmpeg will not uh, be able to read it so we put on one single line we copy it now in this case it, was, uh, it will not work because there is another one uh, that is already recording but you will see it, uh, it will work on yours and then when you when you're done with the recording you just have to press the Q key to exit so that's it as you see it's quite it's quite easy and you have full control on it it's open source it's secure so if you're using Windows I, I really advise to use this uh, to use this method I hope it will, the video was useful and it was clear enough and uh, now I'm going to press my Q key and thank you for watching and have a good day.